this is a take two. I was in the middle of uh, videoing and all of a sudden Discovery Plus came up and my video was gone. So let's try this again. <sighs> Thank you for coming. This is Judy Parker's uh, YouTube channel that you've reached. I don't normally say that, but there you go. Um, I have not made a junk journal in years, years, and I've been wanting to do it again and just um, needed motivation, I guess. So um, I was watching a girl from Silver and Sparkles on YouTube. Go check her out. She has tons of tutorials on uh, little golden book journals and things like that all kinds of stuff so go check her out but anyway uh and i had asked her how can you keep the story in order because as you know little golden books come with two signatures so when you start uh putting a junk journal together when you get to page three they're no longer the story is no longer in order so how do you stop that from happening well, she has now worked it out. She did a video yesterday. I am so excited to start that on a little golden book so I can keep it in order. But I had bought this book last week at uh, Boswick's uh, Antique Store in Cander, New York. It was only a dollar. And this book is from 1953. And it has been well loved by some child. And it's been colored in and all that other wonderful stuff. I think it adds character. It does not bother me whatsoever. Did I try and erase some of the crayon? Sure. Did I get it all? Nope. Do I care? Nope. <laughs> so let me show you what I've done. Now, this is not perfect because, like I said, it has been years since I made it, and I made a lot of mistakes. But it's okay because this is one that I'm going to read to my... Uh, he'll be six years old when I go down in December. Um, my six-year-old grandson, and we will read it together. And it's I made it interactive so that he can draw, he can answer questions. I'll show you that part uh, when I get to it. But I can journal on here saying what day, uh, what we were doing that kind of thing, whether he enjoyed it or not. 1953, it was uh, in Roman numerals, so I had to, and it was printed in the U.S. of A. So here's just a pocket and a tag I put in. And I actually had a friend that said she'd never heard of the Gingerbread Man book, so uh, I might have her read it. Here's a gingerbread man because she baked the gingerbread because she didn't have any little boys or girls in her life. So, anyway, um, here's a tea stain. I really kind of over tea stained this one, but that's okay. Uh, a tea stain paper, which I, ha I have done tons, so I have tons. <laughs> um, so, that's this I tried to use uh, 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 Gamsol on this. To lift it because it was totally black with black crayon and it did pretty good getting some of that off so you could at least see what they were doing and this is some uh, washi tape look how wide that washi tape is so I finally had a reason to use it and then this I was originally going to put something in this and make it flap but I thought you know let Whoever, like my me or my grandson, something he might draw, I'll put it in there and then have it as just a fun little thingy. Uh, again, a tuck spot, and I put recipes. I thought maybe he and I could make some ginger snaps or some ginger creams or something. So I'll put the recipe in there because my girlfriend who passed away gave us a wonderful recipe for ginger creams. It's one of my husband's favorite. They stay soft, but you make the dough like three or four days ahead of time before you want to bake it. This is a dye that I've had for years. Um, and some school paper, some... Uh, 
uh, games paper, which, you know, and then another tuck spot, another tag, and this charm uh, set was sent to me on a swap not too long ago. So I thought, well, that's perfect for that because he's got the gingerbread, so that's perfect. I haven't done this one yet because I have gingerbread uh, charms, and I had them on the table this morning showing them to a friend, and now I can't find them. I have to find them. But anyway, so that's a tuck spot. That's the other side of that. This is a tuck spot and a flip. So... And then here's our story continuing, another little tuck spot. And you can put pictures, you can put journaling, little doodads, whatever you want. I tried to leave plenty of uh, space for pictures and whatnot. Here's that uh, gingerbread die again. So, aren't they cute? They're just so stinking cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a little crazy. These were something new at uh, Hobby Lobby this year. And what they are, let me see if I can find it in here. Um, that's not it, that's not it. Again, I had it this morning, I was showing my girlfriend. What they are is, you know how people do uh, sublimation or vinyl on their... Uh, coffee mugs and that well this is a way you just you take it off your I can't believe I don't have it right here you take it off your uh, page and then you rub it on really good and then you lift off the top plastic and it stays on there All, the only thing it says is do not dishwash wash by hand it says so but I had it in here to show you but of course it's gone so, uh, more space to do whatever. And there's my snowman. He, he is from Polka Doodles. Um, and I was able to cut that on my Cricut. Here's another recipe card. And I, I just put little cute little things in there because it's fun. Fun to look at, fun to play with, you know. And here the poor gingerbread man, he got, he got suckered in. And this I was going to glue in there and I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to leave it. And if my grandson wants to take some of my paints or some of my stickles or whatever and decorate that, it'd be easier if I can just take it out and let him do it and then put it back in. These are some more things from Polka Doodles. And this paper I've had for ages. The paper itself is from, uh, I believe it was Michael's, from years ago. I'm talking, most of what I used in here is years ago. And I'm so happy to be using it. All this trim, I'm thinking I bought it probably at least six years ago from a quilt sh uh, fabric store down in Georgia in the town that I have a home in. So here's some more of this. Now this is the end of the actual book, okay? This is the end of the actual book. That's signature one. This is signature two. And here's what I did. There was no way I could get that to print on this side. I tried everything, but whatever. So this is called my Christmas writing and coloring. And it's my favorite gifts are, and he can draw a picture or write what they are. Look at him, isn't he adorable? And how I will catch a gingerbread man. First I will, next I will, then I will, finally. I just thought that was cute. And I love Santa because... Now, here's, here's the deal on this. I printed this out, and it is the whole story of the gingerbread man, okay? All the way to the end. And I still think I need to figure out how to turn it around so it's facing the right way, but because of the size, that's what I came up with, okay? And you'll see on the other one, too. 
there's more of these. Then here is a quiz of that story. What did the ginger man do when the little old lady opened the oven door? Which character started chasing the gingerbread man at the beginning? Who did the ginger man come to next? What did the ginger man say over and over again? Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. What did each of the characters say when they saw the gingerbread man? Who was the last character to chase the gingerbread man? And then here's the answers. But again, I need to flip that so that this is on. But I have to work it out. In, in my brain, I couldn't do that today. So I don't know. I'll figure it out. And I only put it in with washi tape, so it'll be easy to get out without any tearing. This is my cute snowman. Color me, please. Some pretty ornaments. I got this off of uh, Etsy. So, oh, I just love those ornaments. They're so pretty. Uh, color a wreath. And here's another pocket and flip. These are my Christmas snowflakes, so he can draw snowflakes. Color me, please. Joy, love, peace. Happy Holidays, another adorable little girl, ginger girl, some tuck spots, um, uh, reindeer, another tuck spot, and uh, flip. How did I do that? What did I do? Oh, <laughs> How did I do that backwards? I didn't. Um, and then more color. And he's going to draw. These are my Christmas stockings. And this is going to be Color Me. These are my Christmas ornaments. This is my holiday card. My Santa wish list. The night before Christmas, I will. If I met Santa, I will. His favorite foods and another flip uh, I love elves because and how will hi how I will wrap my Christmas present and how will I decorate my Christmas tree how will I build a snowman now they don't have snowmen in Georgia so this is really going to take his imagination <laughs> But anyway, and there's the end of the book. So, yeah, I made some major mistakes. A couple of them I can fix. Um, a couple of them, it's just, oh, well, you know. <laughs> I have given up perfection many years ago. I don't worry about the small stuff anymore. So I'm glad about that because otherwise I would have been tearing this thing apart again and again and again. But anyway, so that's my first junk journal in many, many years. I am very happy with it. I just love the colors. I love the story. You know, I just, I just had fun doing it. And like I said, I still got to find my other charms and put them on here, but they seem to have vanished. But uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm going to get busy on a Little golden book. I don't know which one yet. This is another digital paper I printed out. Isn't that cute? Um, but I don't know what story I'm going to do and if I'm going to make it interactive or not. Um, but we'll see. So thank you all for watching. Um, leave me a thumbs up if you liked it. A comment if you liked it. And remember... Have a good day and be kind to one another. Bye-bye.